Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew Shorts. Today, I will be reading in the r slash Just No Mill subreddit. So let's jump into it. I might have to file a restraining order against my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is a loose cannon. She is a mother of six kids, three boys, three girls. Two of her daughters are married, but none of her sons. I'm the first wife to marry into the family. Years ago, when my husband was a teenager, Mill engaged in a marital affair with my husband's scout leader. This affair ultimately broke up an 18 plus year marriage and left the kids very hurt. Even after the divorce, she was not present for her children at all, who were all minors at the time. The kids, rightfully so, disdained their mother for her affair and the unfair treatment of their father during the nasty divorce. She took everything from him, right down to the M-Power electrical box, and left her children with no AC. We live in Arizona. She would party while my father-in-law and older siblings took care of the younger kids. My husband chose to not have a relationship with her when he left for the Marine Corp, and rightfully so. However, one day she called him, screaming, He's dead! He's dead! My husband confusingly asked, Who? She was talking about her current husband, who she had been with for 18 months. She said, Name was shot trying to stop a bank robbery. He's dead. He's dead. My husband, unsure what to say, hung up the phone. Several minutes later, a call comes in from his dad saying, Have you heard the news? My husband says, Yes, that he was shot stopping a bank robbery. Is that what she told you? Dad says, He was the bank robber. Check the news. My husband tuned into the news coverage of SWAT lighting up his vehicle. Turns out the guy was a serial bank robber who has been on the FBI most wanted list. The feds showed up to Mill's house and questioned her, and even though we suspect she was in on it, she was never charged with anything or taken into custody. After doing more research, we discovered that Mill's, now deceased, Husband was a crooked ex-cop whose illegal activity ran very deep. He was doing more than just robbing banks. This was in 2016 and to this day, she continues to lie about what happened and who this man really was. Despite having the news coverage and most wanted posters still existing online. Anyway, she eventually met a very nice man around the time my husband and I started dating in 2018. She invited us to the wedding and my husband and I attended. I encouraged my husband to have a relationship with his mom because I did not think any woman could be crazier than my alcoholic, bipolar, manic depressive mother. Well, that was a mistake and I was so wrong. The relationship we formed with her was casual, and we had no issues for years. Until now. We enjoyed having her around as we got married and had our daughter. I even had Mill in my delivery room. Well, now she is divorcing her husband in the same fashion that she divorced my husband's father. She is taking everything and even going as far as to make false accusations of abuse in order to rid this man of his first responder job. As she was emptying his house with her brother's help, she was making calls to battered women's shelters. My brother-in-law told her, you're going to get his seven-year-old daughter taken away from him. To which she responded, I don't care. Through this ordeal, she has added all of her kids into a group chat to let us know that her ex-husband apparently is armed and dangerous. The lies and text messages were daily, at all hours of the day and night. We knew these accusations were not true. My husband and I even lived with her and her husband for several months, and we have firsthand experience of their marriage and the man that he is. He is a very sweet, honest man, even behind closed doors. My husband was fed up with her lies and told her not to have any contact with him, me, or our daughter. My sister-in-law is getting married next Saturday. My sill has uninvited Mill from the wedding because Mill showed up to her house late at night to talk which ended in yelling and verbal slash emotional abuse. 
She's also uninvited because my sister-in-law would not like a repeat of my other sister-in-law's wedding where Mill engaged in a fist fight at the reception. Mill is a ticking time bomb and so on edge due to her own personal drama that we would like her as far away from this wedding as possible in order to protect the day. The whole family is on edge and nervous about her showing up uninvited. The thing is, is that this is an LDS wedding and as long as she has a temple recommend, she will be allowed into the temple where the ceremony is taking place. Would I be an a-hole for trying to obtain an order of protection against my mother-in-law to protect my sister's wedding? Absolutely not. You would not be an a-hole for trying to protect your sister. I would also contact the church and the priest that is officiating the wedding to let them all know what's going on and get them on your side before she does because she's clearly good at spreading lies. Also, to me, it seems like Mill is a scam artist. She marries all these men and divorces them just to take their stuff, which is absolutely disgusting. I can't believe people have no conscience like this. But anyways, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed that Just No Mill story, or maybe it put you into a fit of rage like it did for me. But regardless, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!